guys, it's Sarah with Grassroots Evolution Tarot, and I'm here to bring you a message from Spirit. So take what you feel resonates for you, disregard the rest, go about today, and know that no matter what messages come through today, it's still up to you, your active free will, the choices you make, and the steps you take in this world to get whatever fulfillment it is you'd like to see. To me, that's personal freedom, it's personal power, and it's something that lies at the tips of your fingers, the soles of your feet, my friends. That's our power to do, so use that wisely. For all my subscribers, I love, love, love you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you guys for being here here and for anyone who's new thanks for stopping by if you feel like this resonates and you'd like to see more please hit subscribe join this journey with me I'd love to have you along the ride so I'm going to use three different decks today I have the chakra wisdom tarot the psychic tarot oracle as well as the energy oracle cards and I'm going to start off actually today with a message from the energy oracle so, to see what kind of spiritual advice or um, I heard understandings as well that we're going to need to know. So, I'm just going to take a moment here to call in spirit. I'm going to ask Archangel Michael, Archangel Metatron, my team of light, and any of your spirit guides or any of my stragglers here that would be here for the highest good of the entire collective. I ask them to join us now to guide, guard, bless, and protect myself this reading and any of you who would ask for it to use me as the clearest channel possible, as well delivering messages that are for the farthest reaching, but the highest good of all of us today. So let's see what messages we have. Um, what I heard is an overall starting place. Angel of love. Where should we start everything we do? From love. Um, let's get another one here. For what I did here too was self-care. You have community in the reverse and the temple in reverse. For some of you, I do feel like there could be people. We have the seven, um, sorry, the seven, the 13, so constraints, financial constraints here as well in the reverse. There's a few things I'm hearing right now. If you hear the lawnmower or the weed eater in the background, I apologize, but um, the angel of love, this is our starting point. This is where we're trying to understand things. So they're also telling me if you have community, and people around you who don't support this temple path you're on, don't support you, are putting you in financial hardships, um, or something like this, this is where we need to give ourselves love as well and realize that this situation, it's burdening us, it's not helping us. So what I heard is we may need to make boundaries clear, we may need to open up and say, hey, you know, um, I noticed that our spending has got a little out of control, will you help with me, work with me and try and get this back reined in? And there's a real importance to what I heard is on how people... Um, how people deal with us when we do that, right? When we set boundaries or something like that, how people choose to interact afterwards, okay? So I think it's going to be really important to come out every situation, every relationship with love, and to make sure as well, I feel like, that we are doing what is right for us, and we're feeling empowered as well as on this temple path, right, on this journey, on this spiritual journey of life, we want to make sure we're surrounding our people, our people, but ourselves with, what I heard is like-minded people, but also people that, again, are for our highest good. They want to see us succeed. They're not rooting for our failure, okay? So I have the Psychic Troll Oracle here as well. Let's see what messages would like to come out. Can you tell, talk a little bit about community, please? Because I do definitely feel like... Um, that there is a situation there, right, with that in reverse, that things aren't working together, we aren't working together, people, whoever it is, uh, you have conflict and dis defeat in the bottom with envy and deception and firm foundation. So, like I said, there's people around us, they're rooting for failure. And they may not understand your spiritual journey or your path to this inner temple, and that's all right. Whether they understand you, your path, what you're doing doesn't give them a right, no matter how jealous they are, um, what I heard is to cause commotion and to, to get into stuff. Now, some, for some of us, this may be our own selves and the jealousy within us, right? If we're finding it hard to work with others or if we're noticing ourselves kind of getting that little bit of green eye or jealousy from you know, the people around us, it is a really important time in our lives to say, okay, why am I jealous? Sure, I want this. But we can work towards that, right? So there needs to be what I heard is um, other goals, so this conflict and defeat, it was also in the bottom. And again, I think it just comes a lot more down to you're not going to be defeated. Even if there's conflict around us, we need to make sure that we're doing it with a foundation of love as well. I heard as well for some of you, you may have lower back pain as well. Um, as you're trying to kind of sort out and fix this situation is the words I heard. 
So I have the Psychic Crow Oracle. We'll just get a few shuffles in here before I ask it. It's parting advice or the tarot wisdom, please, Spirit. Talk to me. Oh, man, I just, <laughs> I heard talk to me, Goose. Anybody likes Top Gun, but Spirit, what messages would you like to share with anyone watching moving forward? Helping them to set up this firm foundation. So I'm going to take this one, too. The way it's in, and one fell out. Um... You have the Ten of Swords with the Empress. For some of you, not everyone. For some of you, this is a mother figure. Um, and there has kind of been an ending to something or a thought pattern that has, what I heard is systemically, like this has been, you've been raised with something systemically. Um, not for everyone, but for someone. This is a mother figure, okay? Um, and I I don't mean to be rude, but for some of you, whoever this is, it's this mother figure that's put the knives in the back and the swords in the back. And I feel like this could be, um, again, there's jealousy, there's envy, there's deception. It doesn't necessarily be a mom. It could be a grandmother as well. There is definitely a need for you again to come at things with love love for yourself setting boundaries setting your foundation and what i heard is not worrying about the trickery or deception of someone else they're giving me more with this that um this potentially could be as well someone has talked a whole lot of shit a whole lot of smack someone here it needs to be put to rest and what i heard is they're getting caught in their lies now they're getting caught in the deception because not only is it going to affect you, but I feel like this kind of lie, I heard spreading lies, this kind of lie or this kind of shit, this jealousy, because there's something. Um, I, I was on Facebook earlier, Facebook land, right? But there was a meme that talked about like narcissists, okay? And this isn't necessarily that this person is a narcissist, but um, it just, it's relevant to this saying, you know, narcissists don't tear down people. They're not um, intimidated by it. So there could be someone who views you very highly. They know that you're on this temple path. They know that you are meant for and destined for great things. And they don't want that. For some of you guys, whoever it is, it's because they don't feel like they're capable of accomplishing those goals. So they want to stop you. There's this huge feeling of competition in here as well. So I'm going to clarify um, the Six of Swords in reverse here is there just because, again, something hasn't been moved on from. Spirit, can you tell me a little bit of this Ten of Swords? Now, they're also giving me this Empress, so this is twofold. One, it could be someone in your life. It could be you, regardless of you identify as man or woman. Um, this is that nurturing, loving, supporting, giving, mothering aspect of ourselves, right? The Mother of the Universe, the Empress, Divine Feminine going, you know what, it's time to put something to rest. As well, I heard, and I am hearing it again because I looked over and it was like looking at me like this. For some of you, what I heard is if you do get random back pain, this could be spiritual attack, okay? Not for all of you, but especially what I heard is for those of you that dwell in the light, there will always be moths attracted to that. There will always be darkness attracted to your light, and it is your mission to maintain that light to not let the darkness in so what also they're saying is if we allow this person or this group of people this entity that's experienced a lot of, a lot of envy or and has definitely um definitely tried and i i'm using the words tried because i do feel like i said there's a lot of lies that have been spread there's been a lot of deception that's been out but it's whether or not this person succeeded in actually fooling everyone because what i feel like is whoever this is this person feels very very confident in themselves or they want to project that they may not but they want to project that so you having confidence really should not in any way take away from this person's confidence but in their warped twisted little mind and i'm going to say warped and twisted absolutely because um i don't personally feel that normal people go about destroying others or trying to or trying to slander their name just because a boundary was set mm -mm. normal people don't do that 
messed up in the fucking head do. And this is what this feels like. Somebody here, they're messed up. Um, so, I know that, that was a little dark, and I'm, I apologize again if that, that bothers you, but I feel like for any of you in this situation with this person, you know they're messed up. They are not neurotypically, um, their brain isn't wired the same way as us, I guess is what I want to put. And that doesn't mean that if we're neurodivergent that we're messed up at all. But what I want to say is about this person, it definitely could be some sort of narcissistic tendency. Um, they're giving me the flying monkeys again as well because many times again narcissists don't actually they'll do some of it right they'll come up with this lie they'll come up with the, whatever it is that they want to perpetuate and then they'll find their flying monkeys to do that work for you so they kind of look innocent and I think that again whatever lies or deception has been spread about you it is because you have practiced this so again I apologize I'm everywhere but I, again they're coming back to this back pain um, something that you can say little mantra is God protects me and God fights my battles no um, no weapon formed against me so prosper both in physical and in the spiritual I'm highly protected I'm highly favored you can envision yourself in white light I also would suggest here for some of you as well with this financial constraints if it doesn't lead to it's not about somebody else has been spending your money I do feel like, and I normally never say this, I heard spells, okay? Because again, whoever this person is, um, it does feel like, I want to say, they're not very spiritual. However, they have come up with the idea of manifestation, and their ideas for manifestation is because they're using it in a negative way. So I do want to actually use the term dark magic here, because that's what it is. If we have ill intent towards someone and we're setting intentions that we hope this happens, we're practicing dark magic. If you don't agree with me, that's absolutely fine. But if we are hoping to cause harm or trouble or havoc in someone's life, we are a dark practitioner. It's important to stay in the light. Um, I want to say as well for sometimes, we can't help this. Sometimes we're upset and we don't even think about the fact that we're sending out projections I'm wanting of someone. But if we know what we're doing, we're doing this intentionally, the universe will send that back. I heard threefold, but what I heard is the more malice that you put out, the more grief, heartache, and destruction will come to your life. So this almost feels like I have a cross watcher watching me. And if you are, and if I've angered you, I've done my mission. Um, and it's not to be upsetting anyone else. It's just that of course, abusers get upset when they're called out on their behavior. And my foundation, and I hope yours, is not going to allow people like that to really have any kind of, um, I want to say implication, but any kind of say in my world and my foundation. So this is where it's like, again, if you have people around you with jealousy, if deception, if they're trying to, you know, send the wrong message, do you boo? Be the love that you know you are in your heart. I also heard kill them with kindness. You don't have to. Also, I want to say, like, this comes down to um, they're giving me an example, okay? And I remember, I'll give you an example because I'm already this far in, and it is, this particular example is with an individual as well that I consider much like this. So this energy, I remember, I if someone is not nice to you, you don't need to go out of your way and be their bestie. I, however, was polite. I said hi, but didn't mean I had, like, this is a family event, okay? I go there, I see this person, I say hi, and then I go about and mingle with everyone else because, it's, honestly, why would I subject myself to that, right? And then this person, so here's this example of this kind of shit, someone feeling scorned, decided she did not say hi to me. Angry because, again, I'm going to call her out or she's intimidated by me, whatever this works, because I'm not going to take her shit. And then proceeded at this family event to do actually a couple things. First off, tell everyone I never said hi, right? Try to make this big thing. And then decided to cause problems with my mother-in-law so that it looked like I'd done something or me and my husband had done something. But who knows what she said. And then everyone kind of looked over at us like, what, what's wrong? What did you do? And we're like, we have no fucking idea. We drove over two hours to get here. So it, it, it was just, again, we shouldn't have this attention. 
right? And it feels like this particular person as well, okay? And I feel like it's important to the message. So again, if it's not for you, somebody's their spirit saying, you better say it. Um, this particular person did this many, many, many times. Upset that um, I was talking to their aunt, which if it's my husband's family, it's now my family and my aunt as well. So yes, I'm going to go talk to them. Yes, I'm going to have a relationship with them. And I absolutely love them. So what is the point of being upset because of this? Is it because there was a relationship that was different from what they had? Pay attention, guys, to what happens here. Because that whole fucking whirlwind, yeah, for a while it caused a lot of trouble. And then the more and more you see it, right? Because there's sometimes it's a flash of a fucking eye. Sorry for my language, but it's somebody saying something and if their eyes are turning side, you're like, you're trying to start shit. Not telling the truth. Um... There are places, again, like I said at the very beginning, boundaries are set for love. This particular individual who I'm speaking of, um, unless it's at a family event, I will never go out of my way to talk to you again. They will not see my family. They've caused enough trouble in my world anyway. They're not going to see, you know, my kids or anything like that. And it's kind of, it's not just my decision. Right, but I think it's important for you guys to know it doesn't matter who this is. Just a second, honey. Just a second, please. Just a second. I'll be in. The, I'll be in a minute. Okay. Just hold on, guys.